Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm just going to have some shaky camera today because uh, I'm going to do a little bit of old school filming. Uh, yeah, why not? Because I like uh, reviewing my comics this way. That way you guys get to see them up close and I can flip through them. You guys can look at them. So if you can bear with me with the shaky, uh, shaky hand here, uh, that'd be great. So I went to the comic book store today. I got four grab bags. Thank you very much. And, uh... We'll see if uh, we can do this with uh, the one-hander today. So, first up, I uh, got a Mystique and I uh, got a Wolverine here. Uh-oh. Maybe Tim was nice to me and the tape won't be so bad today. Ooh. You know it's a good day win. Alright, throw this over here. So, first up, we got the House of M Wolverine, number 34. This was a pretty good... Um, Pretty good series for the House of M. Really liked it. Um, yeah, talking about Nick Fury and uh, Wolverine, and I think Wolverine killing Nick Fury or something. What I remember, I got the trade. I got the trade for that, but whatever. Okay, next up, I got Mystique number ten. Oops, there we go. Mystique number ten. Pretty cool cover. Oh, I got this one. Ultimate Nightmare issue number four. I got all my ultimate stuff, except for uh, Fantastic. Uh, I don't have too many of those. What is this? Ultimate Event Adventures. I don't have this. I lied. I don't even... What the hell is this? Okay. Uh, I Honestly, guys, I don't even know what this is. I have no idea what this is about. I'm going to have to look this up because I don't know what that is. And the final one for that is Mystique number six. Alright, next up. I got Green Lantern and I got an Outsiders. God damn. Tape. Gotta push that tape down. Make sure nothing happens. Alright, do it this way. So first up, I got the Outsiders. Number 38. Looks like Quintana on the front there. Uh, Supergirl and the Legions of Superheroes. Number 24. From Out of the Phantom Zone. It's from 2007. Ugh. Superman Returns. Ugh. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Alright, next up. What the hell is this? The Hunting Ground. The Warlord? Issue number 7. From 2006. I have no idea what this is. Never heard of it. Sometimes they throw stuff in there I don't even know. Uh, the All New Adam. Issue number 4. Everything is relative. Pretty cool. And of course the last one is Green Lantern issue 14. Hal Jordan on the cover looking like a badass. This is from 2006. Uh, next up we got Captain America. There's a Mutopia. Did I say that right? Mutopia. So, I got Mutopia X issue. Where the hell? Five out of five. This is from the House of M. Not too familiar with the Mutopia. I don't know what this is about. There's Bishop. Alright. I have to look that up too because I don't really know. Ooh, this looks cool. Drax the Destroyer, number one of four. That's cool. I like Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. I 
give that a read. Next up, we got Captain Marvel number nine, Coven part one of four. And I find it funny because it says there, uh, if I can get in the light there, nine, but in fade it says 44, so I don't know what that's about. Young Avengers annual number one. Very cool. I got the whole run of uh, Young Avengers. And uh, Captain America number two. Out of Time Part 2. I think this is when they were bringing him back. After he was shot. And the last up I get a Batgirl and it looks like Year Zero on the back there. I'm running out of room. Pat that down so it doesn't go anywhere. So we got... can't really see that <laughs> the end of today zero hour crisis in time issue number zero very cool this is when Hal Jordan was parallax and he was going to go back in time I think don't quote me uh, Mr. Miracle, American Dreams, American Nightmares, issue, issue number one, focus, it's not going to focus, issue number one from 1989, very cool, very cool, oh, the new Teen Titans, uh, 61, and it says, Batman, a lonely place of Dying, part four or five. Got uh, Nightwing there with Batman. Next up, we got Superman, Man of Steel, the beginning of the end, Doomsday. No way! Is this the is this the issue where they introduce Doomsday? Is this your first glimpse of Doomsday? No way! I have to look that up because I don't. No way. I got I to gotta look that up now. See if this is the first appearance of Doomsday or if it was something else. But if it is, that that's pretty good for a, a $3 blind bag just to throw a first appearance of Doomsday in there. Like, what the hell? And the last one I got was Batgirl number 40. Brings the pain. Very cool. This is from 2003. What year was this from? I'm more interested in this than anything else. 19... December of 1992. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to look that up now. Huh. Maybe I'll throw it in the description. Or what it was. Or maybe I'll talk about it later. But that's very cool. That's the first appearance. That's very cool. Because I got the, the Death of Superman, the comic. It, you know, it's not going to be worth anything because it was so overhyped. That, eh. But I love it because my grandmother bought it for me. So, God rest your soul. So, and if you're wondering what this is, this this, this is just Powers Bureau Volume 2 I've been, been trying to read. Because if you know me, I do love my powers. It's a very awesome book. If you have not read it yet, you should read it. But anyway... Anyway, guys, that was it for today, and hope you, hopefully you like this. And if anybody knows about this book, let me know, because I'm going to do some looking up on it, and uh, if anybody out there knows about it, then uh, please let me know in the comments section below. Alright, guys, so if you know the drill, throw me a like, you know, leave me a comment, and if you have not subscribed yet, why not? Alright, see you later, guys. Bye. Yeah, a little side note. I did look it up. This is the first appearance of Doomsday. This is awesome. This is freaking awesome. This is the best day ever. You know, I don't think it's going to be a lot of money, but it's still the first appearance of of the of, of Doomsday, the guy that fuck that took out Superman. Like that's amazing. I'm so excited. Just wanted to throw that uh 
throw that in there. Awesome find. You know, because I only I only pay three dollars a blind bag because he just shoved stuff in there, and I don't think they really knew what they were shoving in there when they put that in there. Because this, you know, for five comics for three dollars, you're basically I buy I basically bought this for like a buck thirty or something. So like Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, just wanted to let you guys know. See it.